Hey everybody, happy 4th of July to you. We're out here at beautiful Lake Norman with Angler's Channel Pro Staffer Robbie Dye. And Rob just came off a second place finish at the BFL up on High Rock. And it was a painful second place finish, Robbie, because I think you lost uh, to the champion by not even half a pound. Yeah, you know, uh, Jeff Chandler's a good fisherman, but uh, I was really wanting uh, to get that extra try and go money and... Uh, Missed it, but uh, there'll be another day, and my hat's off to him. Congratulations to him. And there was several good fishermen fish, you know, finished right behind me too. The weights were really good over there, John, and and I think the cloud cover really helped the fishing, and uh, the brim were were up a little bit. The mayflies were spawn, uh, hatching out, and uh, it it just happened to be a, a perfect day for high rock because you know we've had some extremely hot weather. The water temperature is 85, 90 degrees on most of these lakes, and you know, most of, most of these lakes, the weights are going down, and over at High Rock, they're going up. So uh, it was a good tournament for me. Well, you know, it's interesting you talk about that because, like, last year uh, in the summer, High Rock, it was challenging to get 12, 13 pounds. At this tournament, it was solid overcast all day, and we knew that was going to help the conditions. But to say that we expected that many 16, 17, 18, and 19-pound bags would have been an, uh, an overestimation by anybody's guess. Yeah, you know, uh, High Rock's been through some ups and downs over there. We've had a few fish kills, and uh, I think it's coming back a little bit. Uh, it's still a tough lake. You don't catch a lot of numbers of fish, but the fish that are in there are, are, quality. are quality fish. So, uh, it, you know, in the cloud cover, it it helped the fishing a little bit uh, for a couple reasons. Probably the most is it kept a lot of the the traffic off the lake, you know, there wasn't as quite as many people on the water, John. So right. that really helped. That's a small lake. Yeah, don't forget, it is small lake. So when you get 100, 125, 150 boats out there, it's crowded, and you're going to run into other anglers fishing your spots no matter where you go. That's just right. the nature of the beast up there. But, hey, you're also leading the points for the North Carolina division, right, yes, uh, for the BFL. So you got uh, a lot to look forward to. Now, with that being said, it's 4th of July week. Friday is the 4th. There won't be many tournaments this weekend at all. There may be a few uh, isolated events. But after that, it's really the home stretch. Then we get into regionals and championships in the fall. We got the FLW Cup coming to Lake Murray in August, uh, which is going to be fantastic. But uh, bottom line, with the rain we've had, lake levels are solid. I'm looking for a pretty solid back half of the summer uh, going into these championships uh, based on years past. Yeah, John, it's according to how much rain we get and, uh, you know, it's tropical storm brewing down on the coast right now. If we get some uh, fresh water in these lakes, uh, it could be a great fall. Uh, if we, you know, if it happens to be a dry fall, the water's going to be clear. You're going to see weights go down. But, you know, talking about Lake Murray, uh, it's going to be a good tournament. But, gosh, you know, in August, it's going to be a scorcher down there. So uh, Yeah, we're going to be down there this weekend. It'll be, uh, it'll be a uh, pleasant 95, I'm sure. It will be, and, you know, Anthony Gagliardi, Brian Thrift, that's going to be two anglers you better watch out for down there. Those guys are going to catch them. Yeah, well, Anthony lives on that lake, as does, you know, a lot of our regional anglers are real familiar with Murray. Uh, Rob, great year so far. Congratulations to you. You know, when you're leading the points, folks, that's the measure of consistency, which we all know, and I think everybody, you know, strives to achieve. Robbie, the last five years, doesn't get enough credit for how consistent he's been on all the tournaments that he fishes. But leading the points, I think, is quite an accomplishment, and I know you want to win that before uh, the year's over. Yeah, John, I've been just, you know, not really thinking about the points, just going to every tournament, trying to catch as many fish as I can catch. And, uh, you know, if it happens, it happens. It'd be nice to win them, but uh, I think it pays a 1000 bucks. So, uh, plus you get a trophy, you yeah. know, put it in your case. So, uh, it's definitely an accomplishment I'd like to do. I think uh, Scott Hamrick won it last year, so I'm not going to let him outdo me. I'm going tr to try to do it, but got a couple fishermen right behind me that, that are good fishermen. Uh, last tournament's on Lake Norman here in September, so uh, I'll be doing a little practicing. Absolutely. Now, uh, tell us what is on the calendar for you the next two, three months. Um, of course, we're going to fish the BFLs. We've got the CBC regional at, at, uh, high, at uh, Kerr. Kerr. Going to Champlain next week, fish a... a uh, Ray Vac up there, so and you uh, fished that lake before? Yeah, I have, have. They got a Bassmaster, uh, got an open here on Lake Norman coming up uh, in October, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy fall. A lot of good tournaments. Uh, that CBC is going to be here on Norman in November, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the championship. That's the championship. You know, it's a two-day event, so going to be a lot of good fishing coming up. A lot of money being given away this fall. 
you know, the fall of the year is really the payday. So, you, you know, you fish all summer to get into the fall so you can win the big money. That's right. Well, hey, man, great job uh, so far year to date. And uh, don't forget, you can check out all these tournaments, results, everything else on the tournaments page or the homepage of anglerschannel.com. And don't forget the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, which just finished up on Fox Sports South, launches this coming Saturday on Destination America at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's Destination America. It's basic on most of the cable and satellite systems. 8 o'clock this Saturday, we kick off Episode 1 for uh, Progressive Bass. Robbie, great seeing you. Have a great Fourth of July. Be safe. And, folks... We'll see you next week.